My dad looks at me and he's like this. Yeah. <laughs> he like calls me over into a corner and I'm like, oh no. You can't <laughs> film when you're doing that. Maybe we should just pick him up. Maybe he could be part of story time Saturday today. Okay. Help Aww. me. He doesn't want to face the camera. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another Storytime Saturday episode and today we are going to be talking about the first time Trevor slept over and how my dad reacted. This one's quite a funny story. Yes. <laughs> uh, so if you watched the last episode, um, it kind of is around that time. Um, so in the last story time Saturday, we talked about Trevor's uh, first time meeting my family and how like I had uh, relatives from the States who were actually visiting. At that time, this was almost three years ago, uh, there was a flood that happened here in Calgary, which is where we live. And it was very, very bad. And I remember that uh, we had some days off because of the yeah, flood. And downtown, because we both worked downtown. Yeah. And downtown, the uh, majority of downtown was with no power. Yeah. So we couldn't uh, go to work. And so roads were closed and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think Benny's done. <laughs> no, he's good. Just adjusting, getting more comfortable. <laughs> this is our special guest. Yeah, I forgot to introduce our special <laughs> guest. <laughs> Um, but anyways, to continue, um, oh yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Go, no more Harry. Anyways, so around that time, um, we actually had some days off like I had mentioned and especially because around that time we were still trying to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. I think Trevor was still trying to figure out if I was worth dating or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and so he spent a lot of time with me and my family. And I remember one particular night, Trevor uh, was over, at, we were actually at my sister's place, and it was already late. Like he had spent all day, all night with us, and he. I remember he didn't sleep well the night yeah, before Yeah, I think either. I got like three hours sleep the night yeah, before, so. Yeah, so he was falling asleep. Do you remember like when my, um, I think it was Wawa or Tita No, it was Tita Chon. Yeah, she. I do remember. She was talking to me, and yeah, my my aunt. Yeah, and it was like it was kind of the first time that we had really talked. So we were just kind of getting to know each other, and we we're just just talking. And I, I remember like falling as, asleep just because I was so tired. I I could feel my eyes were red. They were stinging. I was so tired, and then I started to feel them close. And I remember thinking in my head, I'm just like, don't don't fall asleep in front of. Uh, of her aunt because this is one of the first times I'm yeah. meeting them and I don't want to make a bad impression right yeah. or like they're boring me yeah. so I think you saw it and you're like are you tired like did you want to yeah. go home or and something and I think like that? at this time it was already like one it was like one yeah it was late and so I had talked to him I said you know what like I'll uh, see if I, I asked him I'm like do you just want to sleep over so um, at the time I was still living with my parents and if anybody out there who's watching us is Filipino, it does not matter how old you are, especially as long as you live under the roof, you have to respect them. And, and that's totally fine. I, I'm yeah. okay with that. I agree with it. We weren't even sure if he was able to drive home with the roads closed. And yeah. It was just too complicated. And I lived pretty far too at yeah, the time. Yeah. It's almost a 45 minute and probably with... Oh yeah, you're right. I was I about 45 about minutes on like good conditions. Yeah, with With yeah. the way the roads were, it, it was... True. Who knows how long it, yeah. I would have been... I would have taken to, to yeah. get home. So yeah. driving tired, didn't yeah. want to do it. So that's why yeah. you suggested me sleeping yeah. over. So then he said yes. So I was like, okay, I have to ask my parents for obvious reasons, right? So I asked them. I told them the background story as to why it didn't make sense for him to drive home. And I said, I asked if it was okay if he slept over. And I think I remember asking my mom first, I think. I think you did, yeah. And then she said, uh, she'll talk to dad about it. And then I see them whispering. Again, don't forget, we have relatives over. But anyways, a couple of seconds later, my dad looks at me and he's like this. Yeah. <laughs> he like calls me over into a corner and I'm like, oh no, like, Dang yeah. it. And by the way, you guys, I forgot to mention we were not dating yet. We weren't officially a couple no. yet, I should say. We were getting to know each other, but we weren't officially a couple. Yeah. But I was like, oh no, like what is he gonna say? And, and you then saw I was that. like, yeah, and then of course I see 
like her dad talking to her and I can only imagine like the thoughts are like you know I might I might think I'm like protective dad yeah daughter like male yeah. like you know what I, I mean I was like crap I don't want to have this conversation yeah and I was so nervous like, I was like yeah God, and then and of course they're speaking in like your dialect yeah. so I don't understand yeah. what they're saying I can just imagine yeah obviously it's something that he is, doesn't want me to know <laughs> what he's saying yeah so I was just like yeah, so we go off into that corner, and this is what he says. He said, um, so if he needs to borrow some of my briefs, you can grab them in my drawer. And he was telling me where they were, and I was just like, what? Yeah, and then so when we finally got to her place, um, I spent the night on the couch, and she slept in her room. And I remember asking her, I'm like, what did your dad say to you? And then so she starts laughing and then she told me and I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was just yeah. like, are you serious? That's what yeah. he, that's what he said? Yeah, he basically pulled me to a corner to let me know that Trevor can borrow his underwear. Like that is the funniest thing. Like, I don't know. I did yeah. not expect that at all. And I remember when I told you, you were like, did we just get engaged? That's, that's when I knew right there. <laughs> that's when I knew I was like. I want to be a part of this family. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty insane, like, totally first insane. time sleeping over story, especially with, you know, my parents knowing yeah, and it's, it's the not way really, they reacted. It's like a first time sleeping. It's a first time, like, yeah. parent interaction. Like, it was just, like, Crazy. the craziest first time. Yeah. yeah. Like, I wouldn't have expected that. And I know Filipino parents slash Asian parents are known to be strict, but I don't know. My parents are very welcoming and totally. they do trust me, so... But anyways, yeah, he did sleep on the couch, though obviously we wouldn't be in the same room, but... No, no. Yeah. But yeah, it was... That really was... good story. I That is one of my favorites. It honestly. is, yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I love telling that story. Yeah. I love it. So, that wraps up Storytime Saturday. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Or subscribe. Subscribe. Thumb it up. <laughs> and uh, comment below. Let us know if there's anything that you guys want to know about us and we'll, uh, we'll make it into a Storytime Saturday topic. So thanks for watching and we will see you next week.